All right, how are you doing? So today I'm going to be answering questions about Indian food curry. How did I start cooking Indian food or curry? What do I think of India? What do I think of curry? How long have I been cooking curry? Am I Indian? So let's start with the first, the last one. Uh, I am not Indian, definitely not Indian. And let's start, well, first of all, I want to say this. What, when I say Indian food, I want to include Bangladesh and Pakistan at the same time. Uh, and in fact, in England, more often than not, depending on where you live, when you go for an Indian curry, it's usually actually Bangladeshi. Uh, there are you know, certain towns where it's very predominantly Pakistani or Indian, but yeah, generally you're, you're eating a Bengali curry. They're, they're, they're the guys that run it. So um, I started, let's start me, without me talking about eating curry or in fact let's start by the word curry the c word so effectively there is no such thing as as curry it doesn't really mean anything it will, or it kind of means gravy but you know yeah so in, in indian cuisine curry is kind of not a word but everyone knows what we're talking about so yeah um we're going to be using the c word so everyone knows what i'm going on about so i started really uh, at a young age like most people in, in, in the UK, I'm from London. I just go for a curry, you know, we'd go to the pub and then we'd go for a curry afterwards. Um, and I used to eat chicken korma, which is an incredibly mild, terrible now, I look back at it, sort of chicken curry sort of thing, plain rice, a few poppadoms, and then quite a few pints of a beer, uh, usually Cobra or Kingfisher. I think they were the brands that we used to go for. And that was it. That was your kind of, you know, your Friday or Saturday night out doing that. And um, that's kind of as far as I got with curry. I think I progressed a bit later to, um, you know, maybe having, you know, a naan, um, chicken tikka masala, which apparently is the national dish of the UK. We eat more of it than anything else. And then you sort of, you know, you got brave sometimes and said, I want a madras or a jow or something like that. It's a bit, bit sort of more spicy. But when it all really started for me, and we're talking like 30 years ago or something, maybe more. There's a place in central London called uh, Euston, famous Euston station. And behind there, there's a street called Drummond Street. And I was taken there years and years ago. And that street is basically a vegetarian dosa street. There's loads of dosa places. Dosa, if you don't know what it is, is that, it's like a crispy pancake sort of thing um, filled with what well, a famous one, masala dosas, potato, curry leaves, you know, mustard seeds and things like that. And that blew my mind. It just completely blew my mind. It was just like, well, what do you mean this is Indian food? This can't be Indian food. Indian food is that that I'd been eating, you know, you know, down in South London. And it just blew my mind. And from that, from the, from that day, I was like, I'm just hooked on this. Now, to say Indian food is a bit like saying European food, because it's such a massive country. Look, I've got a few notes here. Let me get my old x-ray specs on. India, we're not talking about Pakistan here or, or Bangladesh, we're talking about India. 1.4 billion people, 28 states, eight union states, six main religions, and at least 22 languages. Check this out. 3,287 million square kilometers of land. Place is bloody huge. Seven and a half thousand kilometers of coastline. So you've got all the languages, you've got all the the land mass, you've got all the different people. So, so every, you know, Indian food, you can't say Indian food really, because it's just, it's just so, so diverse. And I started getting into sort of like learning cooking. And I, th I think it was it Madhu Jaffrey. She was like, the, she was like the, the god of Indian food back in the day on, on British TV. I started sort of reading some of her books and then sort of exploring, you know, get, getting away from the kind of regular curry houses and kind of, you know, really luckily we've got quite a few sort of Indian communities in London. So I sort of I got in there and I sort of like started to you know taste this and taste that and fantastic places like down in Tooting, Tooting Beck or Tooting Broadway down in South London where I'm from, you know big 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 sort of you know Indian communities there, and then I just started getting into the whole spice thing and and I've just sort of grown and grown and grown, and my knowledge now my knowledge is about here, you know it's tiny I've still got a tiny amount of knowledge of it and I study it all the time I'm always studying Indian food. I love it. I, I love it. Um, but yeah, my knowledge is like this. I, I, I think I'm going to die knowing that much. 
and there's this much to know. You know, you, you, you know it's, it's just too vast a thing to sort of get your head around. Um, yeah, so what was the question? Am I Indian? No. Uh, what do I think of India? Um, uh, funnily enough, I've never really been to India. I'm going next year, actually. But um, what was another question? How did I start cooking curry? I think we got into that. I just started cooking it and getting, getting, to, getting to know it. Um, just, through, just through absolute passion and love, you know. Um, I, was talk I spoke about my last, on my last uh, one of these about Mark... Mark Weens and, and, and the uh, Food Ranger and their absolute passion for what they do. And I suppose if I've got any passion like that, it is for, it is for Indian food. Um, yeah, I mean, I'd also like to include, you know, like Sri Lanka is just down south, you know, below Kerala and that. I mean, again, very similar in, in, in some ways and very different in other ways. And yeah, I just, I love curry. I, I, I just love curry. I'm not Indian. Don't think so. Um, and I'm going to keep cooking Indian food forever. I'm just, I'm just in love with it. So I, I hope that's answered some of the questions there. Um, one of the other ones was, what is my favourite dish? My favourite, you know, curry, stroke masala dish. Um, I suppose it would just be, I suppose I, I can cheat really. I can sort of say like a tali, you know, like, like a tali is like, you know, usually served on that stainless steel looking metal prison plate you know and you've just got little bits of curry here and there dals and different stuff but yeah that or a masala dosa I mean I, I could just eat a masala dosa forever and ever but that's it that, that that's I think that's it I think I've covered it here so uh, that's it see you later see you soon thank you so so much for checking out our videos um, we're currently steaming ahead to actually reaching nearly a hundred million views which is fantastic I think we've got over 3,000 uploads now. We've really been going at it since I think 2012 we started back in the day. But yeah, thanks so much for watching our videos. Please do give us a thumbs up. It really does help us out a great deal. And also leave a comment. We do like to hear from you. Now, um, what we've been up to. So lots going on. We're now based in Bahrain. We're here for a little while. Uh, in the kitchen here, which is fantastic. We're having a great time. Kids are really enjoying themselves. We are cooking away at a rapid rate, trying to do this new series called Eating with Locals, where I want to go and eat with different, you know, people from different nationalities and eat their food and have a little chat, see if I can learn something. Hoping this COVID thing is going to shift. Don't know when it's going to happen, but maybe soon. If it does, I'm going to get back on the road. You know, I want to get back on an aeroplane, as I'm sure many of you do as well, and get out there and sort of, you know, see the sights, taste some food and meet some people. It would be fantastic if you would buy us a cup of coffee, help us along with the channel. We're not funded in any way, we're self-funded. We don't endorse any products. Uh, there's a link down below. If you would like to buy me a coffee, a couple of dollars or whatever you want, just follow the link, that would be fantastic. That's about it, we're doing great, and we hope that you're doing fine, and we'll see you soon. Lots of love. <laughs>